Hello, welcome back to Menacing MTG. Today I've got a deck that um, is all about taking some large creatures and cycling them through and bringing them back. In the meantime, we have Balaged to return, cre to return anything from the graveyard to your hand. Cultivate to get some lands on. Vanishing Light to take enemy items off the board. Birth of Melitus to get some white land, blocking walls and gain life. Kenneth, great card. This does a number of things. Um, since we have green, black, and white, what it does specifically is you can gain five life. You can um, return card from the graveyard to the battlefield. And um, you can put one ones on creatures. We've got a Cleansing Nova in here. And we've got three Elspeth. Also two planar cleansings. So let's give it a run. Big guys. Not enough mana, but we'll take it. Take the risk. One more mana gets us cultivate. We're in business. We got it. Beautiful. I do not like that card. Cycle the board back in there. We are going to have to remove do some removal here. We've got plenty in hand. Okay. We got something going on here. Gotta get this off the board. Without further ado, let's see, we got two, two, yeah, let's go ahead for an extinction event for even with a oops, one guard to play. What I'm actually going to do here is take this off. Leading to even. I meant to play extinction event, but this is fine. Leading to even mana creatures on the board, which I can take off with extinction event next turn. We'll do that first, and then what we'll do is likely bring Elspeth on and take this off. Well, we don't even need to do that actually. Okay, we'll block here. One step at a time. Alright, we wanted that. We'll go even. Actually, bring that right back to hand. Concerned about the amount of life that they've accumulated here. 
the snap. Assuming they'll block the core settlement. They do not. This is sweet because I can run an extinction event, which they know I have in my hand. Yeah, I can take all of these core celebrants off the board without running my even mana void vector. So that's a lovely thing. So we're going to go odd here. Do a blocker. Don't lose him. Do a single card in hand. You bring on anything of consequence. I have Elspeth ready to roll. That's a nice card because I can give him a blocker every turn with lifelink. Um, they're just going to bring on. Lifelink. They're going to bring them on. That is most unusual. I am interested in why they would not use Dawn of Hope there. I'm getting mana flooded now. I can continue to not use him. Wow, outrageous. Don't understand why they would not do that. Okay, that works beautifully. Go down to a single card in hand, make that two. Okay. Okay, here's for another game. A little bit of a risk here. We have Melitus, so we can get another land. Oh, we're good. Okay. Excellent. We're going to have enough land to play Shadow of the Sky in relatively quick order here. Ooh, don't like that one bit, but we can gladly discard that. And let's see, um, hmm, hate to 
Give it up. There we go. Okay, let's see. I'll get for now. Pull out Shadow of the Sky again if you need it. Ooh. Okay. I like it. we have to pay a little and cool celebrate. I have to put the land down. I hate to do it. <clears throat> I am all I need to this is great because he's going to be tapped up and we'll have haste. And we can take out Mindwalker. Now we're going to get busy here. Just hit this guy. What we're going to do is uh, a bit of a spot here. He can do five damage. It gets us off the close. But Kenrith next turn, if all things being equal. Okay. Um, and he'll have enough to bump that up to seven. My goodness. Okay. We got to let it come in. Hoping we don't have to do that. Okay. That's okay because we. Okay, um, we can do this. And do it again. Lovely. Okay, now we can bring this guy in. He's going to be able to come in. Eight. Ten. My goodness. Okay, well, we'll definitely block here. We may have something in hand, which we <coughs> don't. Okay. Now, uh, what do we got for mana here? We have four, seven. Okay. Um, we're going to go like this. We're going to let Godzilla die at the hand of the Men of the Evan Legion. <clears throat> what we're going to need to do next turn is cycle Void Beckoner and gain life with Kenrith. It's outstanding having two Kenriths. I think we're going to we'll attack with Kenrith is what we'll do. That just applies a bit of pressure to them with no life gain going on. attacking here. 
And that's really great news. And we gain more mana base. So now we're up to eight mana. So let me go ahead and cycle this through, giving Kenrith death touch. <clears throat> and my goodness, I can bring him on. I feel like we have to have some life. So we can do this. Put a plus one counter on something. Um, I'm going to play aggressive here and attack with Godzilla, block with Kenrith, then Bond of Revival to bring out the Void Beckoner with haste. So they're going to use the Vampire. And that's it, I'm sure. Not going to use it. Okay, so they're down to six. They do stand to gain. Okay, they have a blessed city's blessing. Okay, so they can bump. We have to block here, which means they'll lose him, and they're only going to do three damage. They, I think they're going to see with empty hand their fate here. That was a huge error for them, and it is game. I'm going to bring Kenrith back. I'm going to use the bond for the beckoner. And that's it. Hey, thanks a lot for watching. Um, please consider subscribing, leaving a comment, leaving feedback. Um, I really enjoy doing this. I plan on doing a bunch more, so I'm building decks continuously. Have a great one. Take care.